is estimated that about 16,000 uh, Ugandans were killed uh, at this spot. <laughs> Guys, we are now heading to the torture chambers where they used to, um, like you read on the poster, uh, thousands of Ugandans uh, lost their lives. Uh, that is exactly where we are heading to. And it is being estimated that during that period, uh, around 19,000 people were being killed from here by Italy. The torture chambers, this is where uh, thousands of Ugandans lost their lives in uh, that time, that regime, uh, all those uh, people, Ugandans that were, had anything against the government, this is where they lost their lives. They would bring you here, uh, put electricity and the water and make you stand there and that is how you would get electrocuted and then die. The water, you said the water level was around there. The black line. The black line? Yeah, this one. Mm-hmm. So then they would just, you just switch on the electricity, they know. And just there it was where the electric switch was. The electric switch was here. When the guards were coming in to put the people into the water, hmm. they could first switch off the electricity, so when they could move out, then they could switch on back. In 1966, the Mengo Palace was attacked by soldiers of Obote who had an intention of getting rid of the king. After the attack, Obote abolished the kingdoms, then he turned this place into a military base. So in the days of Idi Amin, he also used this place as a military base. In between 1971 and 1972, he had this thing constructed as an armory. He used it as an armory for about eight months. And after then, he got information that Obote was in Tanzania trying to collect some soldiers who can fight Idi Amin. So he took away all the weapons that were in this place and he turned it into a torture chamber. Anyone that was suspected to be against President Idi Amin was brought inside here. The place used to have a metallic gate at the entrance, so they would be locked in here and killed by electrocution or being stabbed to death. Idi Amin killed about 19,000 people here, and it is said that Obote too, when he came for his second regime, also killed about 6,000 people, which makes it a total of about 25,000 people. So, I'm literally in like a haunted place. <laughs> uh, so, they're like corridors. So after, after you passing on, they would put in these corridors and then the trucks would come and pick their bodies and then, you know, dump them in the lake. So these are the remains of uh, the cars. I'm saying cars because it's not just one car. Because if you can see from behind, uh, like down, that is a whole different car. Then the one on top is different. So they, after the war, uh, most of these guys were found buried. Uh, so they go them from the soil. I just and just try to come up with like a whole structure, and that is what they came up with. But it's like a whole combination of different cars all in one. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and in case this was the first video that you were watching on my channel do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that that way uh, every time that I upload you get notified. Uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.